All right, I'm using Car Gauge Pro on a 2002 F350 7.3 diesel. I'm gonna get in here. Okay, so here, here's your deal. I'm gonna disconnect this just to walk you through it. I'm using one of these adapters. They're not all the same, so it may or may not work for you. So what we're doing here, we go click connect, and we're gonna go forward powertrain and then um, I've already scanned it but you're gonna want to do a full scan all PIDs um, I'm just gonna click no scan and then there's my adapter right here and it'll sit here and go through that device connected blah blah you know say whether or not it's connected to the computer and then you can see that just touch it this dash command is kind of wonky it takes a while to get used to it so you can go into the dashboard here and then you touch that click up here and add gauge so you have to go into here pick the ones that you want out of here and it'll put it on there so we're gonna go in here We'll look at, um, we want to look at the maybe the temperature or the fuel pressure or maybe even the camshaft position. Um, but let's just go in here and um, go to the fuel pressure. Now, there's two different engine coolant temperatures. So I click on that and then I click add. It'll put the gauge up there. It'll keep stacking them right there and then you gotta move them later. So you go back here, keep going through your list. Engine oil temperature. I don't know if that one will work or not. Only available for digital gauge type. Okay. And then we'll go. Uh, we're gonna do fuel 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 real pressure some of these don't apply to a diesel truck fuel tank I don't know where I saw it before I was looking at it anyway we're not going to get too carried away with that I'm going to um, IAC and there's lots of stuff in here okay here there we go this is what I want injector pressure so I click add and now the hard part is getting this screen to go away and do that now I gotta go there you hold it so you want to drag it and move it because it won't just let you do that like it normally would. So you need to tell it to drag it. Okay, so we got our gauges here. Um, I'm at an idle right now. 608 PSI. It went up to 1600. You see it's working. Um... that one's not reading anything that's the wrong one so you could go into here and then you um, go to the profile you either create a new one or open an old one or whatever but it, you have to open it it won't be there next time you go in there so you got to save it so let's go back into here I like this part better because it can give me you know the do a buzz test and all that other stuff um, so the self test right here there's a bunch of them and it gives you lists you what you can do um, ones with it off one with it on there's your buzz test your glow plug test uh, your contribution test a um, bunch of stuff uh, device information you tell me like whatever I'm using um, see what else does it have so 
and if you invalid no data my other truck pulled information up on there okay we go here so to see stuff in this one you want to go here so you need multiple sensor views and it, you click PID list and check whatever you want to look at so like it'll show up whatever you check um, let's see uh, check that one battery um, cam shift position level I'm just picking random stuff I don't actually need to scan this truck for anything in particular at least not that I know of yet um, my other truck that I've been working on so there's your coolant temperature the two different ones and an oil temperature fuel There's usually nothing under fuel. It's all under injector. Let's see what we got. Glow plug. Um, hard acceleration. That's interesting. Okay, I see percentage. Um, injector pressure duty. Injector pressure volts. Injector pressure. Now, once we've clicked everything we want, so like intake temperature we go here we click OK they will all show up right here and you can scroll through them and see what they are and if they're not valid you won't get a reading um, uh, I don't know that this thing likes this particular truck because it gives me a coolant temperature of negative in both accounts so um, there's uh, other programs out there that will scan this um, the intake air temperature is probably correct we're about like 40 something degrees outside 34 degrees I don't know so um, for whatever reason this this one's wrong or I've got a bad sensor so um, but anyways uh, that's uh, how you use uh, car gauge pro you can also get the car gauge uh, like light version that's free and uh, check it out I don't know if it'll do all the same stuff or not I specifically uh, actually bought this because uh, it does the injector buzz test and um, it was also one of the only ones I could use to read cam retard on one of my Chevys so I uh, hope that helps uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it